Right before I go on stage, I'm always really nervous. Like festivals, you always like, we're going up against Kendrick Lamar. You know what I mean? I hope people are gonna be here. I do like that the tent is small. So I don't look at the crowd at all. Otherwise it'll psych me out too much. Cause you know, like the tent's clear like 10 minutes before and then it'll fill up right away. It's like that, that like I can't take it. It's like a roller coaster. So I like hide. I just like warm up, like just like get psyched. Like try and think of like a song, like a Converge song or something that'll get me pumped. Try and just like carry that energy like straight out the stage and just like explode at that point. When you finally get on stage, it's the biggest relief. You have to win over that crowd because that's like how you, you get anywhere. It's just like you play this crazy show in the same way like we would watch you know, the Swarm play, and then we're like, oh, we all love the Swarm now. Or it's like you watch Darkest Hour play, and you're like, oh my god, I gotta go get this record. And that was just like, it was all like how you could crush a show and then win over fans. So when Cancer Rat started, it was no different. It was just like, we have 10 minutes of music. We can go as crazy as possible in that 10 minutes, because that's all we had. We even had Misfits covers, and that only bumped us to 11 minutes with two Misfits covers. It was bonkers. But yeah, so we would just go off. That's always from day one, it was just be like, we're gonna tour harder and play harder than anyone. And then now, 10 years later, we're like, okay, we can chill out a little bit on the touring side, but I'm still gonna try and rip it as hard as I possibly can, every chance I can. Going off every single night and touring hard, um, especially when you're touring a lot, it definitely like takes its toll. And I mean, for us at like 35, like we still want to be serious about it, but it's like, okay, I'm gonna need to stretch. I'm gonna need to get ready. And I mean, that's something that we've always done, like touring with bands like Every Time I Die and Rise Against, who are like, you know, either our age or older, but have been touring for a long time. They're like, oh, I gotta like stretch this out, and like, you know, like, I gotta take this seriously, and I gotta get ready to perform for an hour. Because for us, we were like, oh, you can go crazy for 10 minutes and it doesn't matter. But when you start trying to go crazy for an hour and more, it's like, oh, that's like serious, like physical. That's like some athleticism. So we were watching these bands like Alexis on Fire play these huge shows. And we're like, oh, you guys need to be like dead serious. Or you need to be like blackout drunk. So for me as being straight edge, I was like, okay, I need to take this dead serious. I don't have that option. When we first started in 2000, you know, five, six, seven touring, there was fights at shows, and sometimes it would be kind of lame. Now I like we haven't had a fight at one of our shows in forever. Like everybody is there for the right reasons. Everyone's there to party. We have just as many girls like at the show as guys, which makes me really happy. Like to have like a positive environment that like you know people can feel like equals and be up front and not be worried that they're gonna get like kicked in the face or like you know, get, there's gonna be a fight next to them. So for me, I, I love that that's kind of come around. No more fights, fights are lame.